Hey everyone, um, so thank you for purchasing my Origami Overall 10.5 book. I'll be showing you three origami items and two notes. Um, and let's get started. So if you have the book, you should turn to the page I'm on. I'll say page, page three. And here we go. Fold a square piece of paper into two triangles. So you want to look at, if you don't know how to explain it by using the picture, just do it, do, watch what I do. Do the same with the other side. Now grab the two corners and push them together. So you want to go like this kind of. We are now on page four. Then push the top down. Bring the two front corners up. Do the same thing with the back. So you want to flip it over and do it. Fold the two outer sides towards the middle. Do the same with the back. Now bring the bottom two on both sides up, like this. And like this. Now you blow in the top. If you're having trouble, you might wanna just pull it for wider extension, you do this. Extra extra tips. Before you fold, if you want to fill it up with water, you color both sides with crayon before you fold. Kind of like I did. Okay, that was the balloon. I'm going to set it aside. Get a new piece of paper. And now we are going to do the bullet airplane. Page 7. Grab, two top grab the two top corners of a rectangle paper and fold them inward. You want it to be equally, that way you can make it the better plane, a better plane. Fold, fold it in half and unfold it. So you want to fold it in half this way. And unfold it. Okay. Now that you got the first part, let's go to step three. Fold the top corner in. This is where it gets kind of tricky. We are now on page nine. Fold it in half. Okay. So we will fold it in half. You want to try your best to make it line up. The better it lines up, the better the airplane. So mine is kind of off. Okay. Now fold the slanted part, not the top, until it is lined up with the bottom. So you want to fold this part until it's lined up with the bottom, so like this, on both sides, stroke like this, I mean like this. Now fold the back corner in, so you want to fold this corner, open up the two sides, push it downward, and then do this. Now repeat step five. So if you look up, not step six, but five, you'll have to do this again. And it folds a pretty nice paper airplane. Like this is how it should look. And it's good for throwing. 
you want to throw it kind of up. So now we are going to Mayday Gun Down. It's this wiggly one, so it's used for loop de loops and stunts and stuff. And it looks like it, and it always lands upside down. It never flies right side up. So it's kind of funny. It's a cool trick thing. And it's almost, and it's about 75% that it will do a loop de loop every time. So it's pretty often that it does it. So step one, grab the two top corners and the rectangle piece of paper and fold them inward like this. Fold the bottom down and do step one again. So you want to fold the bottom down. And then look up at step one and grab the two top corners of the rectangle piece of paper and fold them inward. So you just want to do this two times. Well, this so Oops. It's not lined up. Here we go. Now fold it in half. So these are basics so far, so you should pretty much know how to do this part. But now it get tricky. You want to fold the diagonal part, not the top, down until it is lined up with the bottom. So kind of like the last one I showed you, you want to do this and then turn it over and do this. And now this one is for loop-de-loops. Here, let me show you. So it works pretty good and it usually turns upside down. And now I'm going to read warning number four. Do not throw Mayday going down directly at the eye because it could take their eye out. And number five, note to reader. Use this book as a talent. Origami overall 10.5. Thank you for watching. This has been the um, read along with Origami overall 10.5. Um, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. Comments. And thank you. Goodbye.